Hello and welcome back to Kirby's Dreamland 3 with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Poogie. So, uh, indeed, we will continue the game from the third stage in Waterfield or whatever it's called with Kine. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick with him for most of this level, I think, because he is fairly good. The annoying thing about these waterfalls, though, is that they're not very great, um, even for someone like Kine. And Storm with Kine! Seriously, the poor thing! Uh, uh, you, you, it comes down, it works like Storm does in any other Kirby game. But, uh, poor Kine! Seriously, he's just flailing about! And that's even in the water, seriously. <sighs> Don't know whether to laugh or to cry with that one! Anyway, yeah, I definitely want to use Kine here. And this was a kind of maze area as well, so... Yeah. In this room, we have the option... Well, in these rooms, we have the option of either Negro or... Um, uh, Choo Choo, but... No, I want to stick with Kind Baby! Yeah, seriously. He has proven himself well in these water stages. Now, here we have an annoyance of these falling... Uh, I don't know if they're bowling balls or not, but yeah. Um, so here I want to use, because I apparently got it, I got um, Spark here, which is very good in this room with Kine. Um, um, should I be worried that Gooey is practicing cannibalism on his own kind? I don't know, but um, let's go in this room. Because in this room there is a hidden door. So, yes, yeah, seriously, which can only be uncovered with... Um, uh, spark, because light bulb and everything. And in here is another Maxim Tomato. Unfortunately, we will need a stone to get it. So, yeah. Do I need another Maxim Tomato? I'm not sure. Um, I kind of took a bit of damage there, but only a bit. Um, we do not destroy these blocks. But never mind that. Let's go nowhere except through this door. And what's in this room? A one-up. Okay, I have 14 lives, man! I don't think I need um, another one here, seriously. Um, so yeah, I do not need that. Uh, so let's go up here then and destroy a few uh, spiders. Yes, apparently. Catching things and eating their insides? No, let's not um, go with the blue 182 reference, seriously. Um, so instead... Um, Let's see. Well, I can go either way, really. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing it to get those stars. That's all. So here, we looks like we only have one dog, but we actually have two. So let's go in the left door first, because that's the hidden one. We have a bunch of Gordos. Okay. And uh, that leads to a bunch of these things. Now, I may have gone through the wrong door here, because I think I am missing um, what leads to the heart star, so instead, let's go back a bit, and well, quite a bit, and uh, go through the rightmost door. So yeah, because that may lead us to which where the heart star, or what would help us with the heart star anyway. So yeah, so these guys will use fire. Uh, do I want fire? I don't know! Um, I may well have to get rid of Spark with... Throw away Spark, sorry, with Kirby on his own, then get fire, and... No, I'm not leaving you here, Kine, seriously. I, I do want you there, seriously. <clears throat> okay, so... That leads to the thing. Okay, so was I right to go in the other one? It seems like I was. So, let's go past the Gordos. Yeah, so we know what Gordos do. I've done enough, well, not enough Kirby games, but i played enough Kirby games to know what Gordos are like. So, yeah. And, oh, boy. Yeah. Just like with the helpers in Kirby Superstar, Gooey can damage himself. Now we're dealing with a really big one. So, the basic thing with this boss is to actually inhale his spikes. Yes. And he will come charging at you first, though. Like most g regular Gordos, this guy is really strong. So yeah, um, ahem, really strong. So yeah, and inhale and... Why am I... I could use some regular move, but... No, 
That's another thing. When you uh, get rid of the, the stars with Kirby, um, or oh, power, uh, copy ability with Kirby, should I say, what happens is that he, um, the star comes out very slowly. Seriously, slower than in some other Kirby games. With the possible exception of Kirby 64, but, um, why did I spit out <laughs> Kirby there? Seriously, did I actually swallow? Yeah, I know you can actually swallow Gooey. It's just really weird. You're actually swallowing a slime and he doesn't seem to mind that much. I love how Kine is just chilling there, seriously. Uh, while this uh, General Gordo comes forward at us. I don't know why I'm letting Kirby take damage there. I think it's because of the... Um, Water. Yeah, this this fight is made harder because of the annoyance of the uh, waterfalls here. Seriously. So, let's jump there. Fire it back at him. That's the best way to damage the bot, the mini boss, really. I think he can jump in the air, but um, yeah. So you want to get him while his spikes are off. Pretty simple in theory, but that you have to account for the um, waterfalls. In addition, he will jump into the air, as you saw there. I think when he gets to about half health. So, seriously. I want to inhale those things, seriously. Okay, so, not doing shit here. Not doing absolutely shit. Okay, go up. Yada yada. Ouchie! Yeah, this is going to be annoying because of the waterfalls. And Kind don't give a damn. Yeah, he's just chilling there. Well, it, it, this boss is actually harder with Kind because Kind, he kind of has a slow jump. Uh, so, yeah. Which is fine for, uh, like, um, underwater sections and regular enemies, but for bosses and mini bosses. No, not one of my favorites, I'm afraid. But Kain is the king of the water in this game, um, as far as animal buddies go. So, yeah. Okay, so what's he gonna do? He's gonna take to the sky. Once again, uh, sending out his thing, and there we go. Okay, one more turn. Comes down. Um, I couldn't have ducked under that, I don't think. Does Kirby even have his ducking animation? I know it was a. I, I, was it? Uh, yes, it was in Superstar, but I'm not sure if it's in this one. And I cannot jump to save my life here. No, I cannot. Okay, so... Can we try this again with more feeling, please? Because this is getting annoying as hell. So, inhale. And... I got his spikes back. No, inhale. Fire it back at him. Okay, fine. No, it wastes too much time. Okay, so uh, let's go from that bit. No, I am not going to do that. Inhale and fire back. There we go. And that actually gives us the needle ability, which we're using uh, kind of like a pincushion once again, which is not great, but we will need to here anyway. Oh, poor kind. Poor, poor kind. It's already been, been used as a weight. Now he has to be used as a pincushion as well. Just look at his reaction, for goodness sake, seriously. Um, Gulping Kine is actually quite fast. Surprisingly on ground for a fish. Okay, so, yeah, let's get our health back because I'm a fucking idiot. And yes, go through here. And go, 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 hit him hard, etc, etc. And yeah, these guys kind of look like cappers. Seriously, Japanese uh, demons and uh, water demons and everything. So yeah, and no, I am not losing kind. I am not losing kind. You can very well eat my shorts. I'm not wearing shorts. So um, let's go down here into a pool of water. Where I can easily swim with Kine and use him as a puffer fish. Seriously, we, do we have puffer fish in the Kirby? I don't know. I know the Mario series have those porky puffers. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, through here, more of these um, 
things there. So let's see. Anything else? Just a few more things, and there's the exit. Okay, so what did we have to get to get the uh, thing? Apparently there's a giant... I don't know what that is, a bear or something? But we've done the thing and got the thing. I think it was that uh, thing earlier with the um, blocks and everything. So I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!